a new EU law will require business to show that soy they are importing to the EU was not grown on recently deforested land. But this is not the only requirement. Business must also check that imports of commodities like soy were produced in compliance with environmental regulations of producing countries. Beyond the EU, regulations coming up in the UK and elsewhere are stepping up the scrutiny of imports for compliance with environmental laws. But how big an issue is this for importers? Trace, in collaboration with the Brazilian organizations ICV and Imaflora, looked at all the soy produced in the Amazon and the Cerrado in 2020. We investigated how far these farms comply with key elements of Brazil's forest codes. And here are the results. First, we found strong evidence that 16% of the soy was produced on farms that did not comply with the forest code. Most of the soy was exported to China and the EU. Second, there was evidence of potential non-compliance affecting up to 74% of the soy. Buyers and other stakeholders may not be able to verify compliance simply because official data that might demonstrate compliance is not publicly available. These results suggest that it will be difficult for business in ensuring that soy imports from the Cerrado and the Amazon comply with the forest code. This is a missed opportunity for Brazil's soy sector, especially because at the same time, over 95% of the soy that we looked at was deforestation free, meaning it was not produced on land that was deforested or converted between 2015 and 2019. To find out more, go to our website and read our report.